comrade, you are not a lemming. Do not be an ostrich with your head buried in the sand. It's time to wake up and recognize what these scientists are doing to our atmosphere. I mean, why do we continue to give them the keys to the kingdom, huh? They claim their projects are too big to fail. Do not forget, man, this is the, the entire fiasco, all right? We are in it because of highbrow scientists and their fandangled arc-folding technology. If the arc light hadn't ripped a hole in the space-time continuum, none of our recent pain and suffering would have happened. And they have the nerve to call us eco-terrorists? They are the eco-terrorists. They have taken the future of our entire planet hostage. They have gambled with all our lives. And now they say, trust us again? We can reheat the Earth? We can fix what science has broken? All lies, man. Do not trust their nefarious terraforming schemes. They cannot control the monster they've wrought. The world is not their sandbox to play in. So say no to science. Put the Earth first. Support Earth first movement. Yeah! Dr. Blake, I trust the xenoalgae samples I passed on were more than adequate for your experimental research. I know that I don't need to remind you, again, of how risky this is. Introducing a species, no matter how small, from Alpha Prime to our native Earth environment could have disastrous consequences. Now, I have only cooperated so far because I agree with you that something radical must be done to raise our surface temperature. And I am frustrated with our progress thus far. As we step up our efforts, it is vital that we cover our tracks. I don't want some watchdog bot bounding into my sin viewpoint with a warrant. Clear your cash immediately after each and every time we correspond. Keep up the good work. I'm sure we'll see results soon. Fratibus in Toradam Terra. P.S. Please return my hollow shaving cream bottle at your convenience. Joaquin, I got your message interlaced in the recent potluck vodka ad. Nearly didn't catch it. I agree with you that the Hydro Corps should be an easy target for us. Up until now, they've been able to operate with nominal security as the facility has little value to the war effort. I think that they underestimate the conviction of our movement. While I liked your idea of infiltrating the facility, I wonder if it wouldn't just be easier to sabotage the nearest repulsor pylon and let the melding do the work, huh? Either way, that centrifuge is going down. You can count on me. Citizen, you can do your part to help global warming. Humanity has demonstrated tremendous resilience since the nine-year winter. With the harnessing of Christite energy, we have taken tremendous strides in geoengineering and terraforming. But mean temperatures of the Earth's surface are still two degrees off from the pre-impact average. We need to nudge the temperature up even more, and we need everyone's help. This means you. Support the work we do here at the Hydro Core. Support Dark Algae. You can do this by donating Christite directly to the facility to help with our operational costs, or by donating man hours to protect the vital pipelines that carry treated water back to the ocean. Send a vid package to the Accord telling them you support our mission. Let the console know that you still believe in the Earth and that he should too. No need for us to abandon our home. Next time you're on the beach, don't molest the brine harvesters. These bots break salt pools down into bromine and chlorine, which damage the ozone layer and allow more UV to reach the Earth's surface. We can damage the ozone layer, but only if we work together. Stay positive. You are likely a visitor's first impression of our facility. Speak confidently. Assure them of our benevolent intent and our concern for the planet's safety. Dodge difficult questions. Assure them that dark algae has low concentrations of brevitoxins. Remember, when you don your tour guide uniform, you represent all of us. Remember to smile. <laughs>